St. Lucia has recorded 36 confirmed cases of COVID-19 to date. Over the last nine days, the Ministry of Health received confirmation of eight new cases of COVID-19. These were COVID-19 cases number 29 to 36. Given the professions of these cases and the social activities which they undertake, a wide contact tracing and testing intervention is being undertaken. This included community-based testing at a number of sites allowing for testing of a large number of people in a short space of time. During the last nine days, over 1,200 tests have been conducted in response to the contact tracing efforts. These cases were from varying communities, but the Ministry's contact tracing team was able to establish a common link of the cases to the Olion community on the east coast of St. Lucia. During the past week, targeted testing was undertaken in communities of immediate concern at Olio Denry, with a total of 167 people being tested, in Deriso Miku, with 15 people being tested, and for the relevant staff and students of the Kashri's Comprehensive School, with 182 people being tested so far. This week, contact tracing will be continuing, as well as community-based testing, which is one of the strategies for identifying other cases which may exist in the communities. This shall continue today, October 19th, with testing within the, the Denry community. The Ministry of Health is pleased with the support which has been provided by the various organizations of concern, as well as by community leaders and gatekeepers in mobilizing residents to participate in the testing efforts. This partnership has had tremendous value for the public health response to the newly diagnosed cases. The Ministry of Health takes this opportunity to clarify that it has not issued a directive to employers of relatives and friends of children who attend the Castries Comprehensive School to remain at home from work. Employers of these individuals are asked to take special note that this is required for any employee affiliated with the school. Further, we ask that while children, that our, our school is suspended and children remain at home, we would like for them to stay at home. This period should not be seen as an opportunity for gathering together and socializing face to face, whether in public or privately, as we continue to implement strategies to prevent the risk of spreading the virus. The general public is reminded that though the ministry has been able to establish a link among cases 29 to 36, it is still possible that there may, may be community transmission of COVID-19. As such, we all need to remain on high alert and ensure that throughout the day, all the necessary measures are undertaken to reduce the risk of being exposed to COVID-19. This can be done by following the guidelines for preventing the spread of infection, which include consistently using face masks in public places, keeping a safe physical distance from others, washing or sanitizing hands frequently, particularly throughout the day, and to promptly seek care at the closest respiratory clinic if experiencing respiratory signs and symptoms. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information is received.